Hey there, and welcome to this little presentation called Five Things You Probably Didn't Know About SEO and how they can help you add five or 10% or maybe even more to your bottom line pretty darn quickly. Now, my name's Zach Dillon. I'm the principal here at Zach Dillon Search Media. And um, I'd like to tell you why I got into the SEO world and why I switched to using SEO as opposed to um, the other forms of advertising that I've always grown up with. Spent over $850,000 of my own money on Google ads, Facebook ads, mail, uh, newspaper, and print, uh, and newspaper, and uh, magazines, and uh, $850,000. And I've switched it so it's nearly all through SEO now. And um, I'll tell you why. Let me put the old phone down here so I can work a bit better. Um, all right. Well, 18 months ago, I switched to doing SEO, and I did it just for two main things. To reduce my advertising cost, because costs kept going up and up and up, and to to keep a level of clientele coming through uh, the different businesses that I'm involved in. Um, now, the scary thing is that I was always I was brought up in the direct response world, you know, where you write an ad, and you have to get a response back, or you put it, and you put an ad in the newspaper, and you have to get a response back, and everything's tracked to the dollar. Um, and I was brought up in that world from 2003, and it, search and uh, branding and SEO were like the, the, a different religion. You weren't allowed to do those things. SEO was risky, and it was fickle, and you couldn't rely on it, and it was shady, and you, you know, um, it was it was it was hit and miss, and did I mention risky? Yeah. So we all stayed away from SEO, and I stayed away from it for over 14 years, since 2003. I started using it in late 2006, um, and I've got to tell you, it's the coolest thing I've ever done, and I'll, I'll show you why. Did you know that SEO traffic, or Google traffic, is the second most valuable traffic we call visitors coming you know, to your website, we call that traffic, right? It's the second most valuable form of traffic that there is. The first... I bet you know the first. Yep, it's referrals. Anytime your referral comes to you, or or you um, you basically it's a warm prospect, right? A referral because they know you, they like, already like you and trust you because someone else has brought the person in. Um, anytime someone know likes and trusts you, that's great. You know, so if you're speaking at a seminar, that's you know that's good. That's a great lead you'll get from a seminar because they already know, like, and trust you. It's kind of like a referral at that point. But from cold traffic, cold leads, the absolute best is Google. And why? Well, it's obvious, right? Because someone's gone to Google, they've had to type in exactly what they want, and then your website comes, whether it's an ad or whether it's uh, the free traffic. It's the best traffic you can get because if you know someone says, here's my problem, and you pop up with the solution, of course, you, know, you haven't wasted a single cent. It's perfect. It's brilliant. So Google traffic is the second most valuable traffic that you can get, and everyone wants to rank on Google, right? But let me show you this. This, this is what blew my mind, because ad costs kept going up and up and up, and it was getting harder and harder to get attention. And this is really gonna blow your mind when you see this. Um, all right, I'm gonna flip the screen around here just so you can see the amazing opportunity of Google search, which I never knew was here. Okay. Which I never, I never understood this. Okay, firstly, Google's growth. This is the growth of Google search traffic, 2016, 2017. So Google traffic, Google search has grown 10 to 15% um, all by itself. Now that doesn't include voice search, doesn't include Apple search, as you can see from this data here. What's powerful about that is if you were ranking at the top of Google, you just got a 10 to 15% pay rise for no cost, okay? You didn't do any. You didn't have to do anything extra. You didn't have to pay anything extra. You just got ten to fifteen percent growth for doing nothing. And the data that's coming out for twenty eighteen is following the same trend. Why is that? Because more devices are coming online. More people are coming online. So you get yourself in a good position on Google. You get inbuilt growth. Different if you pay for ads because you pay for the click, right? You pay for the impression with ads, so the more you get, the more you pay. It's brilliant. Check, but, but that's only the start of it. This is cool. Check this out. 
I'll flip through the slides here. Um, they go really fast. All right, the top referrers of traffic, right? Everyone's like all social media. It's all about, um, you know, Twitter and, and Facebook. You've got to be on Facebook, right? Because that's where everything's going. Check this out. The top referrers of traffic. A referrer is who sends the traffic to your website or who's who's controlling the traffic. Where's it coming from? That's a referrer, right? Google in 2016 sent 60% of all the internet's traffic. In 2018, 58% of all the internet's traffic. So about 60% of all the internet's traffic is coming from Google. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Facebook went from 6.5% down to 5%. So Google is sending almost 10 times more traffic than Facebook. Okay, that's pretty cool. Why wouldn't you, you that should be making you think, this is what made me think. I'm spending all this money on Facebook. I'm spending over, I spent over $300,000 on Google ads. I'll show you why that was not probably the best idea, but I'm spending all this money, 180,000 on Facebook ads. And it's only referring 5% of the traffic and Google's referring 60%. I'm like, why don't I try to figure this Google out? But check this out. This is what I mean by the ads. Okay, this, is, this blew my mind when I saw this data. This is what sealed the deal. Mobiles. Okay, so your mobile phone, click-through rate. Okay, so you can see a little SERP here, which is a search result. 40% of people... When they do a search, 40 or 41% click on one of the organic links. So you have the paid ads, you have the map, if the map's up there, uh, and then the paid ads. Uh, sorry, so you have the paid ads, the map, and then the organic. On, this is on a mobile phone, 40% click the organic. 2% click the ads. This is done over millions of searches. It's unbiased data because it's actually what they call click stream data, which isn't from any, you know, of a company that's got a vested interest. It's not even from a browser company. It's it's like pure from the device. So 40% clicked the organic link, 2% clicked the paid ad, and 57, so 60% didn't click anything. Okay. Now what that doesn't count is clicking on the map or clicking to call. 2% um, on the ads. Google made $120 billion from people clicking those ads. Just 2% of people clicking on those ads. Crazy. That's mobile. When we go to desktop, now if you're in a professional service, um, you probably get more searches happening on a desktop. If you're in like a trade or people need you fast, you know, like your air conditioner broke down, then mobile is important. But check out what happens on desktop. A few more people click on the ad, 2.8%. But 60% click organic, and only 35% don't click. So what that means, when I see that, I think somewhere between 40 and 60% of people are clicking on the organic listing, on the Google search listings, okay, that you can get and keep for years, for free virtually. That's all I wanted to show you from that. But I think you get the idea. All right. Now, the next thing, okay, remember I said there were five things? Well, that's two. <laughs> that's only two. The, th the third thing is, you know how SEO is risky? Well, the way you set the whole thing up and the way you start building out your SEO plan, you can make the whole thing totally risk-free. I mean that in two ways. One, you don't risk the capital that you invest in it. And two, you, you build it so the site can't blow, go up, go wrong. Like that was always a big risk. So oh, I don't want to do the SEO because you could ruin my business. It's so easy to make it so that you can't ruin it, okay? And you even build it a certain way, right? I've done this so many times now, it's crazy. You build it a certain way, and every dollar you invest, it's never wasted. Try get that from any other advertising. You do some advertising in the paper, or you do some advertising on Google Paper Click, and as soon as you've spent the money, or the you know the, the paper's gone, or you do an ad on the television, as soon as it's run, your money's over. Okay, if it didn't work out, too bad. If, with the SEO, every dollar you put in accumulates. It's like compound interest. You put, you know, a thousand dollars in, and maybe you didn't get the result you want, but the thousand dollars stays there. Okay, and then you build, and then you put another thousand, and another thousand, and you keep building and building and building, and it's building on top of each other. It's not like advertising where you put thousand dollars in, it's 
gone. Thousand dollars in, it's gone. It's like it's like compound interest, okay? And that's why I'm so. It's, you can't lose with it because if you just keep at it the way I'm sh I'll show you, you'll get there in the end. What I learned was you can rank any website for anything you desire. So your website, you can rank, you can get coming to the top of Google for anything you want, okay? This year alone, I'm number one or one of the world, the nation's top dermatologists, tax accountants, financial planners, divorce lawyers, um, pool fence installers, knee surgeons. I'm not any of those things, but I built sites that did that and still do that. This year to date, okay, I've driven over 9 million free impressions from Google. An impression is a, every time your little website listing comes up in those 10 search results, over 9 million of them for the year to date. It'll be over 12 by the, by the end of the year, all for free. And some of that was from last year, and it, I haven't touched the sites. So we invested in them last year, and they're still growing. They're not just staying, they're growing. Why? Because gr Google grew 10 to 15%. In the last year it's an incredible investment it's unbelievable um, so what this means is you can be the leader and you can be the most trusted source in your market okay for whatever category whatever signature service you have um, whatever service that you're best at whatever service drives the most revenue or profit in your business you can be known for that okay and you can own that it's not as hard as or as risky as maybe other people have told you it is. And what would you pay for that? If, if you could get a guarantee that that was going to happen for you, okay, what would you pay for that? Or even if you got almost to the top and you could see that revenue growth, okay, 10 or 5% revenue growth, 10% revenue growth, which it, it could be way more than that, um, what would you pay? Would you pay 1% of revenue, half a percent of your revenue? To get that done? Well, after building hundreds and hundreds of these sites, okay, ranking for hundreds and hundreds of things and driving all that business, I've learned a trick or two, okay? I can guide you to win at search, okay, for anything you want, anything you desire. You tell me what your site is and what you really desire it to be, okay, what you want to rank for, and I can look at it, okay, my team can look at it, and I will tell you how close you are, what you need to do. And pretty much how much it's going to cost you to do it. And it's going to be a lot less than what you probably think. Um, we're both in business, right? You and I. We probably want the same things. We want more customers. We want low-cost, hassle-free advertising. That's a big one for me. Low-cost, hassle-free advertising. Um, you want something that you can grow with and leverage. And by leverage, I mean for a fixed cost, you get exponential return. Um, it's not like pay-per-click where... You know, every click costs you money. So you, there's no leverage in that. You you can't grow to do, you can't get better at it. It's like you get better at it, you just get a bigger bill from Google. Well, this year, you can leverage it. Your skill and your investment compounds, okay? Um, and if you do it right, think about it. If you do it right, this rolls over for perhaps years in the future. It can totally fund all these other projects that you want to do. Um, from being good at this Google business. It's quite incredible. I can't believe it took me 15 years to figure that, to get onto this after spending 850 grand of my own money on all this other advertising. I wish I'd put a tenth of it into this. Anyway, if you'd like me to take a look, uh, see exactly what's stopping you from winning in search, I'd be delighted to do it. No charge whatsoever. I'll do it for you. All you have to do is fill in the form below. Okay, now, you're probably wondering, what's the catch? Okay, you got me. Um, I do have an ulterior motive. You know, if you like the plan, and if you like what I tell you, and we'll chat on the phone, and if you, if you like what you're hearing, that all makes sense, right? And you would like me to help you implement it, or even just do the whole thing for you, our average investment to get this done is, a, is just over $10,000. Um, so, you know, not inexpensive, but pales in comparison, as you know, to what you could possibly make in return. Okay, what's a five or ten percent uh, growth of your company? Um, we tend to only work with businesses that are their revenues are at least high six figures, seven figures or more. So it is a very small amount of um, of revenue that we're looking for for 
pretty much ranking whatever you want and growing um, as big as you want it to grow. So, you know, and the cost is fixed. Now, don't tell anyone, but when we talk on the phone, I'll even tell you how we can even guarantee your capital. So you don't even risk that. Pretty cool. Okay, don't tell anyone though, that's our little secret. Now, there is a catch though, and this is the only catch. The only catch is I can only do four of these a week, okay? It's all I have time for because I've got clients that need me to do their stuff for them, okay? And phone calls and, you know, talk them through how to get this done. So four a week, that's it. Uh, if you're keen and you want to give this a shot, okay, fill in the form and we'll set up a time and we'll talk, okay? Um, all right, been great talking to you. Thanks for stopping by. My name's Zach Dillon. Um, I look forward to speaking to you in person. All right, bye for now.